Oh, and Brad, new storm report from Midway, a half a foot and still snowing there. Best accumulation is just on tap to start tonight. We had the lake enhanced bands. Now we're merging with that system snow from the south, and that's going to move in, giving us those snow rates of one to two inches per hour. Lake effects going to linger around the lake front during the morning rush. First on the Cook County side, then swinging into northwest Indiana, closer to lunchtime. So we are going to keep snow in the forecast in the morning. We're adding to what we already have six to ten more inches from lake enhancement here. System snow moving into the south, bringing another five to eight for Kankakee and throughout much of northwest Indiana. So the winter storm warning is longest until noon for Cook County and also for Lake County in Illinois. And then the winter storm warning until 9 a.m. for all of northwest Indiana and leading through our southwest suburbs. It's a winter weather advisory for DeKalb and McHenry with lesser amounts there. But I do think over there you're going to have problems with blowing and drifting snow. It's such a fluffy snow that the wind are really going to push it around, but you can see these fingers here showing up the darker blue areas. That's indicating where we're getting those lake enhanced snow bands and they are continuing now. Evanston picked up several inches of snow. Last report I saw was five, but it's been snowing since then and that snow band pushing through Oak Park through Lyons right across the Stevenson and then heading down into Orland Park and into Frankfurt. So more snow on the way from the system to the south. Look at all the winter storm warnings and watches from the Gulf Coast. All all the way to New England as low pressure winds its way here through the Gulf Coast states, really pulling that warm, moist air on the front side of the system. That's why that ribbon of ice will be so dangerous tonight. We're on the Arctic side of this system, and as the low passes down to the south and east of us, we will be on the ideal side to pick up some pretty good accumulations. I've been watching Washington Street. It got cleared from a plow not too long ago, but boy, about a half hour ago, it looked just like Daly Plaza itself, just completely covered with snow. The other part of this is the bitter cold air that's in place. Nine is our current temperature, but those winds are gusting to 31, so it feels like 17 below right now in DeKalb, 16 below in Ottawa, 15 below in Aurora as we move through tonight. Best accumulation through 10 o'clock, through the midnight hour as that system snow comes at us. Look at the lake enhanced fingers still feeding into the system throughout the overnight. Lake enhancement hanging with us in the morning, and even once the sun comes up, rush hour traffic around the rim of the lake will be a big problem because we're going to also have just blowing and drifting snow for all the areas here where we don't have new snow, but it will definitely be blowing around. Now, on top of what we've already see, received, this is what our noon model data is showing, and I wanted to take you closer to the North Shore. Winnetka, officially so far, seven inches. So if this model is right, that means a good foot for you. Another 4.5 in Skokie in the loop, another four inches in Hyde Park, another three and a half inches. Even into northwest Indiana, we're going to add on top what we already have, 2.9 in Merrillville, an additional 3.3 in Frankfurt, and about four into Orland Park. So we're going to keep snow in the morning forecast, mainly for the lakefront, but a lot of blowing and drifting taking place, Brad and Erica, just because the snow is so fluffy, so light, falling so fast, and those winds are just going to knock it all over, creating zero visibility at times. Yes. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.